the next uh, my question, which was, uh, we saw you do a phenomenal job yesterday, and we had a voter registration drive in Augusta, uh, and you took a moment um, to talk to uh, 2016 voters who voted for Trump. Um, and my question is, um, so with, with the fact that uh, Secretary Clinton got three million more voters uh, than President Trump, um, and that we saw a depression in the number of so people of color, voters of color, young voters, unmarried women. Um, what is your specific message for non-voters and people who opted out to, and who didn't participate at all? Great question. All right, here's what I think. This is how I think I win and actually how other Democratic candidates can win. Because there are some really, you know, good candidates out there. I kind of think I'm the best, but there are other good candidates. <laughs> and it's, a, it's a combination of two things. It's number one, getting our base enthused about politics, bringing people into the political process. Here is a simple statement of fact. If young people under 30 voted at the same percentage as the rest of the general population, this country would be a radically different country and you would not have that moron in the White House or Republican control of the U.S. Senate, okay? Now we are making, you know, in the 2016 campaign, I worked as hard as I can to bring people in, young people, and we've had success with other people. You guys have done a phenomenal job, all right? But we need to do that. We need to focus on young people. We need to focus on working class people and grow the turnout. The second thing we need to do, it's not an either or. Somebody says, why are you talking to Trump? Why don't you do this? We gotta do both. We can chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. So we wanna grow the base. I was in uh, South Carolina yesterday talking to some young people. And they go out and they talk to their friends. Their friends don't understand politics, don't understand the significance of politics. They can't pay off their student debt, but they're not interested in politics. They don't have any health care, they're not interested in politics. And we gotta turn that around. The second thing is Trump, who is a pathological liar, lied to people who voted for him during the campaign. He said to people, you're sitting somewhere in Michigan or Wisconsin, you can't afford health care. Or your job went to China. And he said, I hear your pain. I'm gonna provide health care to everybody. Well, Truth is, he tried to throw 32 million people off of health insurance, okay? I am not gonna cut Medicare or Medicaid or Social Security. Check out his budget, massive cuts to Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, okay? His tax plan, remember that thing was high? Not gonna benefit the wealthy. 83% of the benefits went to the top 1%, all right? He lied, and it's important to tell his supporters that he lied. And if we win five or 10% of them, and if we grow our base, not only do we win, we win by a landslide. And that's what I think the direction is gonna be.